this tutorial, I'm be going over how to create eyeball glitter ornaments. Blah! I see you. Today is a little bit more of like an arts and crafts, creating props kind of thing for like the background of my makeup tutorials. And I was going to be filming, oh, my eyeballs are rolling away. I was going to be making some eyeball ornaments anyway, so I figured, hey, why not film them? They are really, really, really easy to do, and they're extremely cute. Now, the reason I'm actually even making these bigger eyeball ornaments is because I picked up these small ones at Michael's, and I'm like, these are not big enough for my tree. So if you guys want pre-made ones, I found these at the Michael Craft Store, but if you guys want to do it yourself, which really I think it's a fun family project, like if I were a kid, I would enjoy making eyeballs, but then again, I'm 21 years old and I still enjoy making eyeballs. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. You guys are going to need a pack of ornaments. Now you guys can find them with the glitter already on them and these were $5 and I got them at Hobby Lobby. These already have the glitter on them. They are plastic so they are not going to break. Or you guys can also find some clear ornaments and then you know glitter them up yourselves. You guys will see the really super easy process in a second. You'll also need some craft glitter. It doesn't necessarily have to be the ultra fine. You can really get whatever size glitter you would like. And this was also $5 from Hobby Lobby but I'm sure you guys could probably find glitter for cheaper or you might even have some laying around your house. And you guys basically just need the colors you're going to be making the irises of your eyeballs as well as black for the pupils. A craft brush that you do not care about at all. As well as some acrylic paint. Now this is totally optional and if you guys are getting the ornaments that are plain without the glitter on them, make sure that your paint will stick to glass or plastic or whatever the ornament is. Some sort of clear glue you guys can pretty much use almost whatever glue you want. Start off by painting the iris on your eyeball ornament. You're basically just painting a really thick O. Make sure that the color acrylic that you're using is the same color or roughly the same color as the glitter you're gonna be using later. So blue eyeballs, get blue paint. Green eyeballs, get green paint. Once the acrylic paint is completely dry, you guys can then take your brush and your tacky glue and just fill in your painted iris area only. Try your best to stay in the lines of it. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's all right. I then laid down a paper towel just for easier cleanup and while the glue is still tacky, you're gonna wanna take your glitter and just shake it right over top of the eyeball. Tap off any of the excess. And your eyeball is not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be glitter all over the place, but you guys can just take a brush and brush it right off. The glitter is only gonna stick to the area that has glue on it. Set this aside for this glue to completely dry, and you guys can work on your other eyeball ornaments and irises. Once that glue is completely dry, I'm then going in with black acrylic paint and filling in the pupils. Let this dry completely and you guys can fill in your other pupils in the meantime. Just like for the irises, I'm then going to fill in the pupil with the tacky glue. Lay down your paper towel for easy cleanup and pour on your black glitter. Tap off the excess. And look, this one doesn't even need cleanup. Yay! If you guys are concerned about saving your glitter, you could always tap it back into the package. If you're deciding to paint the veins on the eyeballs, like from the Michaels Craft Store, you guys can use red acrylic paint. Yes, I know they kind of look like chicken feet, but I was trying to match the ornaments I already had. 